How horrible is nuclear radiation? I think this movie will tell you the answer. There are a bunch of workers lying in the hospital who have suffered from nuclear radiation, but the doctors only think of escaping. There is a riot in the hospital. The workers of the nuclear power plant heard that the reactor is going to explode soon. They have left their work at hand to run for their lives, but the top management, in order to keep the news of the nuclear explosion from leaking out, they even just closed the door of the nuclear power plant tightly. At that point of death, the workers worked in unison to lift the gate, but it was still a step too late. And soon a large amount of nuclear radiation spread rapidly, and the surrounding residential buildings were blown right up. And although the workers were lucky to survive, they had already suffered severe nuclear radiation. And even more horrifyingly, the higher-ups said it was a gas explosion. The villagers don't realize that they are in a location that is already filled with nuclear radiation. Soon one man can't control it. He falls to the ground and spits. While those around him don't know what's happening, they look down and see that the radiation indicators on the side are already rising rapidly. And by the time they realize that something is wrong, it's already too late. Soon the top brass send them to safety. In fact, they were put into a stadium and even blocked cell phone signals to keep the news of the nuclear explosion from leaking out. On the other side, the nuclear reactor at the plant was still rising and if not addressed in time, it would have triggered a secondary explosion. And once the nuclear radiation spread, everyone would be dead. In response, the top brass rushed to call in the fire department to depressurize the reactors. But it didn't take long for the workers to realize that everyone was quietly leaving the plant, even the guards who were watching over the residents, as if a huge disaster was imminent. And before that, the disaster had been foreshadowed. And at first, there was an earthquake in the city. But as it stopped without a moment's notice, everyone paid no attention to it. And that very night, swarms of rats jumped into the sea in droves. The abnormal operation of the animals makes the man at the nuclear power plant notice that something is wrong, and he urges his workers to get dressed and get out of the area. At first, the workers don't believe him, but it turns out that the cooling water of the nuclear power plant starts leaking and spewing out continuously, which originally wasn't a big problem and just needed to be repaired. But the repairman chooses to just gloss over it in order to prevent getting infected with nuclear radiation. The next second, the cooling water leaked violently. The temperature of the nuclear reactor began to rise wildly, but to the surprise of no one, the top management, in order to cover up the matter, in the name of fire drills to evacuate the local residents, and the temperature of the nuclear reactor is already as high as the critical point. At any time, there may be a nuclear explosion. Meanwhile, cracks have appeared inside the nuclear power plant. Once M waste eye leaks and comes into contact with the air, a devastating explosion will form. The only way is to repair the cracks as soon as possible. But the inside of the nuclear power plant is already overloaded with radiation, and those who go in there will hardly come out alive. But the workers of the nuclear power plant know that the repair work of the nuclear power plant can only be done by them. If they go in, they will die. And if they don't go in, their families outside will die even more. These people are not heroes, but they can only go in to repair the cracks after weighing the pros and cons. And the top management provided them with radiation-proof clothes and painkillers when they were leaving. But the radiation inside has already exceeded the standard seriously. And these clothes are just a kind of psychological comfort. It was thought that after they patched it up, it would prevent a nuclear explosion, but then a bigger crack appeared next to it, so much that it could no longer be repaired. And just when everyone thought that it was going to be a total destruction, the man suddenly thought of something, because as long as a bomb was used to blow the ceiling open, so that the room would carry the nuclear fuel and wouldn't explode without touching the air. But there must be one person to install the bomb. That means this person will die here. At the end of that story, the man decided to stay and is sacrificed at the same time. A fact, no one wants to be this hero, but the only one who will assemble the bomb is himself. For the sake of his family, for the sake of the love of his life, he had no choice but to choose to sacrifice. In the end, all those workers who worked in the nuclear power plant left their lives due to nuclear radiation and their sacrifices were exchanged for the happiness of many more.